Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best gaming mouse in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 7. Hyperx Pulsefire Haste. The Hyperx Pulsefire Haste doesn't have the spillage resistance of the Aerox 3, see below, but it is cheaper, almost at light at 59 grams, and to my hands, feel a bit nicer. It's a combination of the bigger easier to press thumb buttons and the meteor click of the main left-right switches that produces a generally more pleasant and comfortable mouse wrangling experience. The honeycomb pattern of the weight-saving cutouts also looks more refined than the simple square holes that SteelSeries went for, while the RGB lighting is limited to some tasteful rings around the scroll wheel. Granted, there's not much else to say about the Pulsefire Haste's features, but in fairness it achieves everything that Hyperx clearly wants it to. It's lightweight, performs well, and offers both those qualities for relatively Number 6. Corsair Harpoon RGB Wireless. If the price of the Razer Viper V2 Pro gave you a fright, then you'll be pleased to hear that the excellent Corsair Harpoon RGB wireless can be had for a whole lot less. This is an absolute steal for those after an affordable wireless gaming mouse, and thanks to Corsair's super-fast slipstream wireless technology, the Harpoon RGB wireless feels just as nippy as its Logitech rival, making it great for gaming and general desktop duties alike. The Harpoon Wireless has built-in low-latency Bluetooth support as well, just in case you've got one too many 2.4 GHz wireless devices getting in the way of things, but even in my many wireless device-ridden home, it worked like an absolute dream. Granted, that's not enough to make it the best wireless mouse overall battery life is shorter than on the Viper V2 Pro and Logitech G Pro Wireless, and the Harpoon RGB Wireless is heavier than both as well. Still, there's a lot to like here besides all that, and you'll be hard pushed to find a more responsive mouse. For less. The Corsair Harpoon RGB wireless gaming mouse lets you choose how to play, with the ability to easily connect to your PC via hyper fast, sub 1 millisecond slipstream Corsair wireless technology, Bluetooth, or USB wired connection. Whether you play on a desktop, laptop, or beyond, the Harpoon RGB wireless's comfortable contoured shape and up to 60 hours of battery life ensure you have the grip to make the crucial shots when it counts and the durability to outlast the fiercest resistance. With Corsair IQ software, you can customize sensitivity and DPI settings, monitor battery life, and synchronize Harpoon RGB wireless's dynamic light. Number 5. Razer Viper V2 Pro. The Razer Viper V2 Pro doesn't initially make a very convincing case for itself. It's meant as a replacement for the Viper Ultimate wireless mouse, but despite a higher price, it ditches that mouse's ambidextrous design, losing a pair of side buttons in the progress, as well as the included as standard charging dock. Why pay more for fewer features? The answer, unfortunately for left-handers, is that in most other ways the Viper V2 Pro is a big improvement. Most noticeably, it's even lighter than the Viper Ultimate, shedding down to just 58 grams, which combined with the impeccably smooth feet, makes it a real pleasure to slide around. As does the comfortable shape, and while the Viper V2 Pro also gets rid of the Viper Ultimate's built-in textured grips, it replaces them with stick-on rubber strips you can apply yourself. If you eventually wear one down, you can replace the strip alone, not the entire mouse. The hyper-responsive optical switches also have the clicky, tactile bite of mechanical switches, so while you do have slightly fewer buttons to configure overall, they feel as snappy as ever. And honestly, the dock isn't a massive loss. The Viper V2 Pro still comes with a cable and USB a to USB-C coupler, which can close the wireless dongle's distance to the mouse, just as the dock could, and personally, I'd rather charge the mouse directly over a wired connection than leave it on a stand. A stand that won't, you know, let me keep using the mouse. Number 4. Logitech G Pro Wireless. The Logitech G Pro Wireless is hands down the best wireless gaming mouse we've tested. It's not cheap, but wireless mice rarely are, and this is the absolute cream of the crop. It's wonderfully agile and super comfy to use, and at 80 grams, it's lighter than a lot of its rivals, just not preposterously light, like the Razer Viper V2 Pro below. 
When you combine that featherlight nothingness with Logitech's practically lag-free lightspeed wireless tech and its brilliant Hero 16K sensor, the Pro Wireless definitely justifies its high price. It may not have a central DPI button like every other gaming mouse on the planet, it's actually on the bottom of the mouse, for some incomprehensible reason, but Logitech's intuitive gaming software tool gives you plenty of flexibility when it comes to customizing its various buttons to suit your gaming habits. Whether you're right or left-handed, you've got loads of options here, including being able to change your DPI or sensitivity setting on the fly, for as long as you hold down your chosen button. The Pro Wireless is also one of the most tasteful gaming mice, design-wise. Its smooth simple curves are accented by a single zone of RGB lighting over its G logo on the rear of the mouse, and that's it. Not jaunty angles, no glossy flourishes, just good old-fashioned design that doesn't make you want to blush with embarrassment every time another human being claps eyes on it. Number 3. Logitech G203. There are loads of budget gaming mice to choose from these days, but the Logitech G203 LightSync is by far the best of the bunch. Its build quality is much better than its similarly priced rivals, such as the Hyperx Pulsefire Core and SteelSeries Rival 110, and it also has a more responsive sensor, too. It's reasonably small, but it's also exceedingly light, making it feel lovely and smooth to move round your mouse mat. Nothing against larger mice, naturally, but they can be more of a chore to move quickly if you have small hands. The G203 also has two extra side buttons on the left-hand side of the mouse, which can be programmed to do all sorts of different functions. These include keyboard buttons, macros and media controls, and a dedicated DPI clutch sniper button that lowers the mouse's speed to whatever setting you like for as long as you hold it down handy. If you're into online competitive shooter games, G203, LightSync is ready to play with an 8000 DPI sensor and customizable, vibrant LightSync RGB. LightSync RGB can be customized with color wave effects or patterns across 16. 8 million colors to suit your playstyle, setup, and mood. A classic 6 button design gets you right into the game and can be programmed to simplify tasks. G203 is designed to maximize the fun in your game. LightSync RGB can be customized with color wave effects or pattern. Number 2. Razer Basilisk B3 Pro. I'm almost loath to replace the Razer Basilisk V3 in this corner of the list, but look, the Razer Basilisk V3 Pro is more or less the same mouse just with wireless connectivity, a more sensitive optical sensor, and optional wireless charging support. This cutting of the cable doesn't appear to have done performance any real harm, so even when I'm not on peripheral testing duty, it's been the gaming mouse I've reached for while the wired Basilisk V3 returns to the kit cupboard. The Basilisk V3 Pro is a lot pricier than its wired counterpart, not to mention heavier, and if you want its wireless charger the Razer Mouse Dock Pro, then that's another big expense. Frankly, it's a nice but unnecessary luxury, and at least with boring old cable charging, you can keep using the mouse at the same time. And what a mouse this is. Keenly sculpted to fit both palm and fingertip grips, with slip-proof textured rubber sections, tons of customizable buttons, solid-feeling optical switches, and a precise scroll wheel. This wheel also has a free-spinning mode, one of the Basilisk's many similarities with the Logitech G502, series. The King returns to raise the game. Enter the Razer Basilisk V3 Pro the most advanced gaming mouse. Armed to the teeth with industry-leading technology, unlock your maximum potential with a weapon that pushes the known limits of performance, customization, connectivity, and control. Number 1. Logitech G502 Hero. Back in the before times of 2019, RPS readers voted the Logitech G502 as your favorite gaming mouse. Good choice I use one regularly as part of the main RPS test trick. There's just something so wonderfully complete about it. A sweet blend of comfort, features and tactility, with plenty of opportunities for customization. That extends from the removable weights, which you can swap in and out to adjust how the G502 feels, to the support for multiple sensitivity input RGB lighting profiles. Speaking of which, the 11 programmable buttons and close to perfectly placed, ready to be pressed without straining a thumb, but not intruding into normal digit resting space. There's even a satisfying robustness to their clicking action that you don't always get elsewhere, even on Razer or SteelSeries best. Mice.the slight hitch is that the original Proteus Spectrum model only seems available at bizarrely inflated prices. Luckily, you can get the newer G502 Hero.